Hi folks. Hi folks. Mike and Tam here from the backyard. We're going to do a loot crate opening. For those of you that don't know what loot crate is, it's one of the original subscription boxes. It has to do with pop culture. They actually have specialty boxes that come out and that's what this one is. This is Loot Sci-Fi's special Aliens edition of their crate. It was supposed to be released uh, in April, in honor of uh, Aliens Day 426, it was a little delayed. It didn't get here until how long ago? It was it was the end of oh, June. Well, it was yeah. the end of June. Uh, of course, these days, since there has been a pox upon all our houses, mail has just been slower getting places, and not just because of the postal service. Shipping uh, also involves uh, supplies. Yeah, getting your supply chains. Uh, the folks that were supposed to supply the contents of this box. Maybe they've been having problems. So it got here a little bit late. We're just now getting around to opening it uh, a, a couple weeks after that. Uh, Tammy, we did a, uh, a questions tag, a get to know us questions tag yeah, a couple we weeks ago. And you said that your favorite movie was what? Aliens. Uh, Aliens. Uh, we both love this movie. We, went yeah. saw, we were dating. We actually saw this when we were dating in the movie theater. That's. That's this is long. a movie that started me liking the first sci-fi movie I've ever liked. And it, it, I think that it was that way for a lot of folks. I yeah. think it really, it's been very influential. It's a very influential film. If you see any kind of sci-fi or horror movie where you've got futuristic uh, commandos uh, fighting some kind of aliens that outnumber them uh, by hundreds to one, uh, you can thank uh, Aliens. They were the, the originals for this. But, um, Great movie. It, it was. What are you expecting, Tammy? What, what do you think? I know there'll be a shirt. There'll probably be a shirt in here. Um, I, I don't know what I else. Tell, I, I, I can tell you I've ordered loot crates before, and usually the boxes are bigger. Yeah, yeah. The boxes are sometimes a, a third again the size of this particular box. Maybe this is just something for this, this particular size. But it's kind of scary that maybe the same uh, problems that they run into uh, getting the boxes out on time actually might have caused them to put a little less. I'm predicting a shirt, like you. Yeah. I'm predicting maybe one or two uh, collect things that they hope will be collectible right, someday right. that you can, you can sit on a shelf maybe and look at. Uh, but it's, it, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's open this, uh, this loot sci-fi. Special. I'm excited to see what's in I, I, I am, you know, because I love the movie. The first thing is that comes out is the shirt. Now, one thing I like about Loot Crate is the uh, the shirts. Yeah. What, whatever yeah. version, whether it's a Loot Sci-Fi or just the regular crate, they have some shirts that uh, when I've worn them out in public, I've actually been complimented on them. Wow. You won't see these shirts just anywhere. So let's see what we've got. Oh, wow. oh, whoa. Oh, that's a cool shirt. <laughs> Folks, uh, if you've seen the movie, you'll know exactly what this is. This is an image of. These are the loaders, and look at that. What a cool shirt. It's got the all the parts of the loader labeled. It's got the, I'm guessing, the, uh, the make and model. Of the loader there and uh, the Wayland Utani Corporation which throughout all the, the films are uh, usually at least the employer of the antagonist if not even the antagonist themselves they're they're hiring the bad guy anyway so wow what a cool wow this is how that shirt is worth the whole the, thing. The, the shirt. Oh man, this is. I mean, look at this, folks. Very That's nice. Very nice. I'm not sure if I'm That's so that. cool. This is a real. And the fabric that their shirts are made out of. Always it, It's usually not that really uh, hard. Uh, you know, cheap uh, cheap t-shirts. It's this is nice fabric. Mm -hmm. uh, wow. I, I'm I'm pleased with this. Oh yeah, and then we have a coffee mug, Tammy. Oh cool. A Wayland Utani and a That's building, right. building better worlds. <laughs> Isn't that cool? That's, that is, that so is cool. pretty cool. That is. Okay, so far, 
pleasantly surprised. I thought from the size of the box, yeah. that maybe their supply chain had yeah. been cut off. They weren't going to get everything they were expecting. Okay. Oh, a pen. It is a face hugger. Let me get it out. Oh, is it? It's a face hugger emerging from its from its egg. See, there's the egg oh, opening yeah. up. Those of you who know the movies will know what a face hugger is. There is a face hugger collectible pen as it emerges from the egg. Usually all loot crates, all the loot crates. You can count on the t-shirt and you can count on the pen. Yeah. Okay, so we have some little vinyl figures. Oh, that's good. Let's see what, and they're small enough that you can put on a shelf I'm almost scared to open it. I wonder how much value. I wonder how much value this lot loses just the That's moment true. I pop this little tag. Well, let's see. <laughs> let's find <laughs> out. Oh, oh my good. <laughs> okay, we have oh, wow. we have a tiny Ripley. Now, if that's not enough. Gone. Yeah, her pulse, a pulse rifle. One of the. I don't know what the. That's the what the Colonial <laughs> Marines were. The Colonial Marines were armed with pulse rifles. The pulse rifle that you can remove and put in little Ripley's that hands. So cool. That is very cool. I'm predicting in this now other... You got to with the other one I know, has. I'm predicting it's something for her to shoot with a pulse rifle. What do you think? Uh-oh. Same thing. It's another little Ripley. Maybe it's a different weapon. No, it's the same pulse same. rifle. Maybe... Maybe they desire whatever you get you get i mean for oh, i'm sure these. that's what's happening now just maybe what's happening here is they're trying to tell us in some way about a future potential sequel for the <laughs> only you. no no now in, <laughs> in aliens 4 uh they made a ripley's clone that's uh, true. that had uh, i think had uh, uh some parts of the uh, alien uh, in the Ripley's clone. Now, she was kind of a clone of both of them. So maybe in a future, maybe that's what they're trying to tell us. Maybe the little Ripley's, the clone and the real Ripley, will, will battle each other. Oh my goodness. And there is oh, one, wow. there's one last thing that was at the very bottom of the pack. It is a patch. United States Colonial Marines patch to go on. That's that so is, cool. oh wow. And that's it's got so USS cool. Sulaco. That is the uh, the Sulaco was actually the ship oh, was from it? Uh, Aliens. I know all this Aliens <laughs> trivia. You know more uh, than me, that's for sure. Wow, Second Battalion, Ninth Regiment, United States Colonial Marines. A patch. That is, and it's an iron-on patch. You don't have to uh, okay. have to sew it on. Wow. So, folks, uh, wow. I'm pretty satisfied with this. It was a, it was kind of a weight. And uh, the, cup? the cup, a coffee cup, and this shirt with a loader. You're going to get it now. <laughs> well, you can wear it too, honey. Oh, that's know, a guy shirt. Sure. But, uh, and the little Ripley's. I went around the house. And, and the pen. <laughs> I, I thought it was a pretty good, anyway, that's, uh, that was the Loot Sci-Fi Special Edition Aliens Anniversary Crate. Uh, they hyped it really big. I think that for the most part, it was worth the hype. Yeah, it so was. So thank you for joining us for opening this crate, uh, part of our fandom. <laughs> and so until the next time, this is Mike and Tam saying. Bye. Bye. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. That's so cool. Get away from her, you.